Why did Google shut down its quantum chip? The truth behind the pivot. Quantum computing promised to revolutionize industries from healthcare to cryptography. A technological pioneer, Google ambitiously set its sights on this futuristic field. With their Sycamore quantum processor, Google claimed quantum supremacy, solving in seconds what supercomputers would take thousands of years to compute. It was groundbreaking. But behind the fanfare, deeper complexities were brewing. Despite the initial success, scalability, error correction, and real-world application hurdles proved daunting. Let's explore what went wrong and why Google pivoted away from its once-celebrated quantum chip project. To understand the decision, we first need to decode quantum computing. Unlike traditional computers, which process information in binary, 0s and 1s, quantum computers use qubits. Qubits can exist in multiple states simultaneously, allowing quantum processors to solve problems at unimaginable speeds. However, qubits are notoriously fragile. Even the slightest environmental disturbance can introduce errors, making quantum systems unstable. Google's Sycamore showed promise, but as they aimed for practical applications, the complicated nature of qubit stability posed serious challenges. In 2019, Google announced it had achieved quantum supremacy. Their Sycamore chip performed a calculation in 200 seconds, a task they claimed would take the world's fastest supercomputer 10,000 years. It was a defining moment, capturing the attention of scientists, tech companies, and futurists worldwide. Despite the hype, critics soon raised doubts. IBM, a competing quantum player, argued that the same calculation could be optimized and solved in just days on a classical supercomputer. This debate foreshadowed more profound questions about the practical applications and true innovation behind Google's claim. While achieving quantum supremacy was impressive, the challenge of scaling quantum computing shifted the focus. Building a quantum chip capable of handling real-world problems requires exponentially more qubits, increased stability, and reduced noise, all of which require overcoming significant technological limitations. The roadblock? These requirements demand massive investments in infrastructure, time, and innovation, with no guaranteed payoff. Google faced narrowing margins between theoretical breakthroughs and practical implementation, leading to a reassessment of its goals and viability. Facing the harsh realities, Google reprioritized and shut down its in-house quantum chip development. This move wasn't about giving up, but recalibrating. Instead of focusing on hardware, Google reportedly aims to leverage software and partnerships to explore Quantum's potential. This strategic pivot follows a growing trend in tech, partner-driven innovation. By collaborating with academic institutions and other tech giants, Google can maintain its foothold in Quantum research while minimizing the risks and costs of independent development. Google's quantum chip journey highlights the importance of adapting to challenges in groundbreaking fields. Quantum computing is a long game requiring realistic timelines, collaboration, and iterative progress. Even tech giants like Google must weigh ambition against execution in such experimental domains. This does not mean quantum computing is doomed. It's evolving. By stepping back from hardware, Google is not abandoning quantum. Instead, it's aligning its resources toward long-term strategies, possibly paving the way for more practical and stable quantum solutions in the future. Despite Google's pivot, quantum computing's horizon remains promising. Governments, startups, and tech corporations continue pouring resources into the field. Breakthroughs in simulation, cryptography, and artificial intelligence are still possible. The journey has shifted, but the dream of a transformative quantum age is alive. For curious minds, this is a reminder that science is iterative. Failures, 
pivots and recalibrations drive innovation, showing that even setbacks are stepping stones toward ultimate success. Google's decision to shut down its quantum chip is less of a failure and more of a calculated step back to reassess strategies. It underscores the unpredictable nature of groundbreaking science and the challenges of turning theory into practice. However, one fact remains clear, quantum computing is here to stay. If you're intrigued by the twists and turns of cutting-edge technology and want to explore more stories like this, hit the like button, subscribe to the Fortress AI Edu channel, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's dive into the future of innovation together. Why did Google shut down its quantum chip? The truth behind the pivot.